In today's quick video, I just want to show you how you can insert an interactive Google Map into your website. Now, basically, all we need to do is get onto Google Maps and look up the address of where we want to center this map at. Okay, so in today's video, I want to use Suncorp Stadium as an example. So I know the address for Suncorp Stadium is 40 Castle Main Street in Milton in Queensland, or I can just start typing in Suncorp Stadium and let Google Maps take me straight there. Okay, either way is fine. So if you know the name of the business, just type it in. Otherwise, type the address in. Okay, so it's found Suncorp Stadium on the map. What we need to do next is just go over the left here and click on the Share button. And the Share button, you've got two tabs at the top. You want to click the Embed Map tab. And that's going to give you the code to put into your HTML document that's going to make this map appear. Now you can have different sizes for this map. You can have a small map size, which is this little fella here. You can go medium, which you saw before. You can choose large, which is quite big, fills up a good chunk of your screen. Or you can set a custom size. It's up to you. Okay, I'm just going to go with medium for now. There's the code, so it's already highlighted. I'm just going to press Control C to copy that. And then I'm going to go over to brackets. Now in brackets, I've made up a little contact page. At the moment, it's looking like this. So it's the basic contact details for Suncorp Stadium. I've got the address, phone number, and below that, I want to put in my map. All right, so back in brackets here, if we just break this code down, we've got the HTML tags, the head section at the top here. I've got the body section here. So this is all the stuff that's appearing on our page. Got a nice big H1 heading at the top. Our first paragraph has the address. Our second paragraph has the phone number. In the last paragraph, we're going to put the Google Map. So I put in some P tags just to put in a new paragraph and press Control V to paste in that Google Maps code. So this code inside the iframe tags is the code that Google has generated to make that map work. You can see the width and the height here. Okay, you can adjust the width and the height of that map if you feel that it is the wrong size. Alright, so what we need to do now is just save it. So I'll press Control S. And once we have saved it, I'm just going to go into my account where I've got this HTML document saved and open it up. When I open it up, it'll just take a second to load in the map, but there it is. As you can see, we've got this medium size map. Now you can use the controls to zoom in and out on that. You can click the options to get directions to that point. Um, you can even switch across to Google Earth View. All right. If you click on View Larger Map, we might even go into what do we go into? Almost full screen, I think, on the Google Maps page. Yeah, that's right. Alrighty, so that's how you insert a Google Map into your web page.